And Mustafa Ghulam, who's here, he's the CTO of our company. Um, uh, Mustafa and I met in a lift, and we started talking about blockchain. And we had a common interest, we said, hey, there aren't that many people that are, are into this space, so let's meet for coffee. We, we met a few times, started developing a concept. At the same time, I had a commercial real estate transaction that I had uh, engaged with a $100 million portfolio in Ann Arbor, Michigan, um, student housing primarily. The seller of the portfolio decided that instead of working with a broker, that he would work with a high-level marketing agency, also based out of Ann Arbor, which is how I met Julie, our CEO of Project Friend. So Julie and I were sitting down talking about some of the challenges that we saw in our transaction. And we, um, I told her about a blockchain conference that I had been to in Los Angeles, the Crypto Invest Summit. Um, so, actually, I'm going to have, here we go. Okay, so Julie and I were sitting down talking. We are talking about the set of challenges that we saw. We saw proof of funding was an issue, bank deadlines, broker circumvention contracts, uh, property valuation. We have property management challenges. Um, transaction title costs and lack of transparency throughout the entire transaction. Um, of course, I don't know how many people in here, can you show me how many people are in the real estate sector in this room, just to get a feel of the audience. Okay, so, so you know how many challenges there are with transparency issues and legitimacy. So as we were talking, we said, why don't we incorporate blockchain into these uses to provide um, security of transactions and ease of transactions. So, um, we wanted to find out how we could pre-validate funding, offer alternative purchase options, and produce the highest possible capitalization rate. On this particular portfolio, first of all, I'll tell you, uh, our company is a revolutionary new way of buying, selling, investing, and managing commercial real estate on the blockchain. We use directional ownership, smart contracts, and hyper-targeted marketing. We bring together all parties to make the transaction rapid, secure, and instantly funded. So this is a smart contract. This is a Mustafa and I were in a coffee shop. We drew up the first possibility of this transaction. I believe this is in September, October. Um, okay, okay, okay. So um, then this is a basic diagram that we first drew. So this is the very first inception of the project. So the project is related to the $100 billion portfolio. We realized that we could create smart contracts to tokenize fractions of the portfolio. We had 16 offers. The seller wanted $100 million. The actual valuation was about $88 million. So what we said is we could take these 16 investors who are willing to purchase the entire portfolio, fractionalize it, and offer it to them so they could purchase whatever percentage they are interested in buying, rather than breaking it up into individual, uh, individual uh, pieces. So. Um, we figured we could sell for 1,000 parts worth 100,000 each, and you can purchase as many of those as you'd like. So, without getting into too much detail, um, we realized that the smart contract could provide verified funds and could be automatically executed once all of the requirements of the smart contract are met. So, we had a challenge of the property management and how do we um, provide control or, or decision making for these properties. So we created something called a BOA, a Blockchain Owner Association. So this is similar to an HOA. Uh, investors and owners of this portfolio have the option of buying into a voting type structure so that they're able to determine the outcome of their investment. If, you, if investors would like to remain silent, that's completely up to them. So we have three stages that we're working in. The first is projectfred.co is a powerful platform that's basically a brokerage platform. Um, we have our tokenizing and smart contracts, and then a major issue that we're seeing is mass adoption. Most real estate um, investors and brokers are not um, aware of blockchain, so we're designing a whole education platform that provides the opportunity for education within the industry and helps promote that mass adoption. Um, the second phase will be our Blockchain Owners Association, and the third phase will be our Fred Exchange, which is um, the option to trade these tokens, these securitized assets, um, on, I'm sorry, on our platform um, and purchase additional after one year. So there's a one-year vesting period. So Fred Connect is a social platform that we'll be exploring down the road. Time? Okay. Um, so 
basically here's just a couple of little diagrams, I apologize. You can have more information by checking out projectfund.co. Um, but I have Ms. Dr. here to help answer any technical questions or any other specifics that you might have. You talked about the data validity using smart contracts. Uh, how do you ensure that the data entry is uh, data, data is uh, not managed by the entities who are involved? Um, because smart contract is only useful if the data is uh, uh, safe. How do you make sure the data is clean? Um, so, this is so I understand your question. You're asking um, how do you know that that smart contract is secure? And I'm talking about like smart contract can be targeted and it can be secure. The question is because you're using real world data like funds, availability, okay. property, and so on. All that if you are putting it on blockchain, uh, how do you make sure that that data is uh, valid? Uh, how does the contract make sure? Because you're dependent on the people who are entering the data. Uh, yeah, so right now we're working with a uh, limited amount of real estate, so it's, it's going to have to be manually entered at this point for security purposes and for validation. But it's a, a smart contract will uniquely be created for each transaction, um, and they'll be manual introduced into it. Um, but uh, for security purposes, I thought about automating these processes, but it's not going to work at that moment. Can you briefly touch on the hyper target marketing method? <laughs> So Julie Guest, our CEO, um, runs a high-level marketing firm out of New York. Uh, basically, we're going to produce 3D drone images. Um, the, the platform, yeah. um, the platform that she that she employs through her marketing agency will essentially we have a database of investors um, that we already have 1,200 base investor uh, from this 100 million dollar portfolio. That will, will be pre um, pre verified via KYC AML and will be kept in a, in an anonymous database within the platform. That will be a target specific target market. So we're actually looking to attract buyers. We already have our investor base. We'll of course be looking to grow that investor base, but we, we have the funds available. It's just a disjointed operation at this point, and we are looking to to join all these. Um, so really the challenge, it's, it's flipped the current real estate uh, side that the challenge now is in finding the buyers, but we're, uh, it's, yeah, it's going to be flipped. So. Thank you so much, Project Fed.